This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome to Fallout 76. So I haven't really gotten the chance to play this game much since I did my last video when I was giving my you know initial thoughts on it. Uh, I thought it would be kind of cool to play it on camera so that we can kind of learn about the game as I go along here and just learn about it together and you can see how I feel about it as we go and how my opinions change. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to do that. It gives uh, another little let's play series to put on the channel as well so that's what we're gonna do we'll see how y'all like it if you like it I'll continue to do it if not then you know what no biggies so uh, we're gonna pick up some stuff here and I'm going to convert a bunch of this stuff over to I thought there was something else here I could pick up wait no, I could sit on the chair. Okay, I want to break a bunch of this stuff down. I crafted a little bit of a house. One thing I noticed that's kind of annoying already, like right from the get-go, is like I thought after I built this house. So I built this house and then logged out, right? Because um, I wasn't, even though I had this little like base camp here, I had just this platform originally with nothing on it except the cooking station, right? So then I built this house because I thought, okay, well, I'll build a house and place a bed, and then when I log out and I log back in, I'll log in inside the house. No, I did not. I logged in down the hill here, like down, like right here, and then a few seconds after I logged in, the house popped in in front of me. So that's kind of annoying. So it like loads you in in the vicinity of your base, but it doesn't actually like load you in in your base which is kind of dumb because like that's the whole point of having a base so you can log in safely so i don't know if that's just a glitch or if i need something other than a bed if anybody else is playing this and you it works for you let me know in the comments because i'm interested to know okay so let's transfer let's see what we got here i don't think i need these rounds. Let's take a look at my weapons here. So I just picked up this combat knife off of this guy that I killed because of course I spawn in and people want to kill me. I actually, I think I'm going to take that over and break that down. I love my machete. My machete's not going anywhere. The axes, I think we can break one of those down. Uh, I'm going to keep these. Okay, so this takes the 308. So we can transfer over the 38. So what is it to transfer that over? Space. Yes, so space again to accept, and we can transfer that over. We can go ahead and go just break down all of the junk I have. Let's go up here to this thing right here, and we can R to scrap. So then if I go over to junk, oh, so we can just hit T to scrap all junk. Yes. Well, it didn't scrap it. Yeah, scrap. I'm hitting the right thing, right? Space to accept. I'm hitting space. Oh, it's only doing one at a time. That was really weird. Okay. Um, That means all this other crap that I have. Actually, let's see here. Should we scrap one of these? Let's scrap this one. I'm going to click this stuff. There we go. So we'll scrap that. No, I don't want to scrap any of the other stuff. So I've, I made myself some armor too. So I have a chest piece. So I have that and I made the base. That's pretty much all I've done so far. I haven't really left this area, but I want to, I want to go. I have some quests going on right now, so I want to do that. So we ate some food. So what we're going to do, we're going to close our base up. I know it has no ceiling on it, but the only storage I have is uh, this, the stash box, which nobody can get into it. When you open it, it's your stash box. So that's the only, that, I'm not worried if anybody breaks in. They can, they can get in there all they want. I don't really care. Uh, if we look at the map there, you can see on the map there's like the little diamonds on top, the little sticks, I guess. that's I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's right in front of me right now, that little symbol there. That's our quest marker. You can see that we got to go up here to the overseer's camp. So that's one of them. And then we have another one which is down here, which we can register as a volunteer. So let's do that one first because I think is that one closer well, I guess they're about the same, but let's go, let's go register as a volunteer. You can see I got a lot of rads right now. I need, I also got to find a way to get rid of all those rads. You can see my health down there at the bottom. Like the more rads I can get on, consume, get in me, I guess you could say, um, the, the lower my health pool total gets. So yeah, we got to, got to keep an eye on that. What sucks though is like, I have to keep eating and drinking and like everything I eat and drink gives me rads, which is kind of annoying. Can we get down this easy? 
Easy. One thing that kind of annoys me is there's no way, like, the, the head bob, it's subtle. The head bob's subtle, but what's really annoying is that camera sway. So, let me see if I can show you. Like, you see how the camera jerks? Like, when I move, it's not smooth. It doesn't just stop. It's got, like, a tiny little bounce to it, and you can notice it. It compounds with the head bob. Luckily enough, this game really hasn't bothered my motion sickness too much. Uh, it does when I go, which, funny enough, when I go into third player, the camera is so jittery. Like, look at it. It's it's just all over the place, especially, like, when you're, like, up against stuff. I don't know. The camera just seems so much more jittery in third person. That messed with me a little bit. I actually find it better for my motion sickness to be in first person, which is really strange because usually, usually this kind of camera movement really bugs me. And the, the head bob's not too terrible. It's just... It's ever so slightly, so I think that's the reason. Plus, I have a nice focal point. You can see that dot in the middle also helps me out a lot. Um, I don't know if anybody else knows that, but there's a few things you can do if you have motion sickness. One is a focal point, so instead of looking at other stuff, I just kind of focus on that little dot. So you do that, and the other thing is uh, increase or decrease your field of view to get a more proper field of view. But unfortunately, we can't do that in this game yet, but the view field of view right now isn't really bugging me too much. So, yeah, so we're going to head, continue to head on over this way. We had to get down that rock ledge there. Took shortcut. I didn't want to go down the path. What do we got here? I just try to pick up as much stuff as I possibly can. Like anything and everything that's on the ground, I gather it. Because that's at the state we are at this game right now. Just gather all of the things. All right, so we just need to keep going this way. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, we're almost there. Uh-huh. Okay. So, we're going to keep going this way. I got to watch my action points, too. Because that's essentially your stamina. I'm sure many of you already know everything I'm saying about the game. Many people have probably... I know a lot of people have been playing it like crazy. And a lot of people love it. And a lot of people hate it. Uh, I'm at the um, indifferent marker right now. Uh, from what I've seen, it's been pretty good. Um, is that guy a good guy or a bad guy? That's really weird. Is it a human? With a pig following him? That's so strange. Well, I think we can see on the map. That's weird. All right, so we ended up going to the overseer's camp. Uh, I went the wrong way. Got turned around a little bit there. I thought I did everything here already. What does it want me to do? Oh, I already crafted a piece of armor. Why do I have that again? All right, well, maybe I can craft another piece of armor. I need more armor anyway. So we can craft a blunt weapon. Oh, maybe that's what I have to do. I already, well, I don't know. Maybe I just need to craft the weapon. I have not done that. So let's see. I don't wanna, I already have a machete. I already have a combat knife. I mean, we could do a blunt weapon. So we need one leather and some wood, which we have all of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and space to build it and accept, make it. Okay, so, really? I already crafted a piece of armor and completed that. Maybe I had to do it here at the camp. Hopefully I got enough leather because it takes leather. All right, let's do left arm. Yeah, so we have just, we have a little bit of leather there to do left arm or we could do the leg, but let's just do, let's just do the arm. And then we'll make that. Okay, so there we go. So that should have completed that now. Yeah, see how the camera's just so bouncy? Like, look at it. Like, I don't know, it's it's kind of annoying. Like, when you're when I bopped out of that menu, it just, like, it bounced back. It's really bouncy. Uh, let's go to our items. And, no, I want apparel. Yeah. So we want to equip that. Okay. And I'm going to keep my machete. I mean, we could use that wood board, but I'm going to keep my machete. So now we have to do the register as a volunteer. So let's go do that. So we'll just head straight this way. Any wood? We need to pick up all the wood possible. Wood just looks like chunks of wood on the ground. Oh, oh, what are you? You're going to... Oh, what's hitting me from behind? Oh, the dogs. The freaking dogs. Hold on. I need to get out of these. I need to get out here so I can see these guys here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That dude's running at me. Um, we're just gonna run away. 
Great. Come on, action points. Hurry up, AP. Hurry up. I wanted to kill that beaver. Look, I'm gonna go get him anyway. Come back here, beaver. I'm trying to kill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get you some of that, beaver. Yeah, give me that. All that stuff. Okay. Did that dude stop chasing us? Alright, I think we're good. Okay, so we need to continue on uh, this way. Where I already did all this stuff. Yeah, I think we're going right down here to the church, maybe? Or not. No, I haven't done... If we don't go to the church, then I have not done this one. Whoa. Two-headed cow. I'm gonna kill it because... Because cow meat. No, don't run away from me. I'm trying to I'm trying to murder you. Die. Yeah. Give me that. Okay, there's our entrance. There's our old entrance. Okay. So use. Great, we completed it. Give me experience so I can level up. I want to freaking level up. Alright, first contact. The funny thing is, is like it says first contact, but we're never actually going to meet another person. Yeah, give me those bottle caps. I need those because I moved my base a bunch of time and wasted them. Ooh, what's that? Let's pick that up. And nothing in the cash register. You have nothing on you. All these dead corpses. There's corp like this dude's in the oven. Like what happened there? Hey, yeah, give me that mac and cheese. That was some some butt mac and cheese. What's that? Give me that too. Sugar bombs. Oh yeah, this is a lucrative spot. Let's let's just harvest all the things. Yeah, it's and it's the little movements that you really notice the bouncing, like the little movements when I'm just looking around. Like when I'm running, it's not terrible, but when I'm trying to loot a place and I'm just kind of, what was that noise? I heard a noise. Anyway, when I'm kind of just like skirting around a little bit, you can uh, you can really notice it. I hear something. Kitchen terminal use. What does it do? Everything is... No, I'm not going to play the hollow tape. I don't care. I keep hearing... What the heck is that? It's like something crazy going on. I can't tell where it's coming from, though. Look at this dude. What happened to you, buddy? Can we open that? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, give me all that. What the heck? Where, where is he? I'm so confused on what's going on right now. that the hollow tape or was that like a dude I'm supposed to write that's so weird I thought I tabbed down didn't actually play the hollow tape oh yeah give me all that stuff yeah that was really crazy we activate it <laughs> it's gonna actually no come on give me the cake give me the cake you failed to deposit the cake. Maybe... No. Yeah? No? You're not gonna actually give me the cake? Try it again. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. That's messed up. They're just screwing with you. The jukebox work? Let's listen to some music. Yeah? Maybe? Yeah, it does. That's hilarious. Yeah, give me the food. Alright, so we need to go right over this way. She's up, oh, yep, of course, she's dead. They're always dead. Yeah, give me all your stuff. Has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. Well, seems like a fine idea. So 
Hi, I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka. Oh, we're getting shot at. A statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwoods. It was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of... Is that a person shooting me? That can't be AI. I'm just gonna wait here a hot minute. This hollow tape needs to shut up. Oh my god, it's still going. Just when you think it's gonna stop, it still goes. We need to go that way. It says we need to test a sample of water from Flatwoods water pumps. I wonder if I can catch the tree and help break my fall. Think the game's that good? No. Oh! No, we took a little bit of damage. We're alright. Okay, so we just need to run this way. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run this way. And I keep, like, I haven't eaten or anything, and I've gotten more rats. Like, see my, that red go up? It's going up even more. I've got to figure out how to make that go away. Oh, it looks like a camp. What the heck is that? Is that a headless per- Oh, great, there's more shots. Oh, he's alive! He's alive! He's alive! No, he's not. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, pick that up. I need, uh, is there any good stuff in here? So much gunfire everywhere. I'm in passive. Other players should not be able to attack me, but that one was like on me. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. I didn't see anything on the map because other players are supposed to show up on the map. Like see these dots? That's other players. So that had to have been AI chasing me that way. Okay, we got anything good in here? Duct tape, always good. Yeah, I think we're good. What else do we got around here? Anything else good? Hot plate, we'll take that. Oh, hold on. Plastic bowl, jacket and jeans. So apparently you're supposed to be able to wear clothing over top of your armor. Yeah, I just take everything by the way. Like, cause you can break all this stuff down and, and, and I think that when you break this stuff down, that's what becomes your building materials for like your base and stuff. So, and then like here's wood, so wood pile, sweet. Give me that. We get in this tent? No, doesn't look like that one has an opening. Okay, so let's continue to go over this way. But we don't run into anything crazy. Oh, it's outside. I thought it was inside. Outside. Okay. So, collect. Has they... What was that noise? I'm so jumpy right now. Alright. Take. I can drink directly out of it. I wonder if it's safe. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, oh, it's not good water. It's not good. That gave me five rads. Jesus! My health bar is just becoming all rads. Okay, we need to... Oh! Oh! Is that a, that's a bad guy. It's a bad guy. It's a bad guy. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Give me your hairbrush. I'm like right up over that thing. I need to get someplace safe. I think we need to go back to base and... Take stock of everything that we picked up. And... Um... You know, figure out our weapon armor situation, all of that stuff. Okay, yeah. Uh, where is base? My camp. That way. We need to head back past that way anyway. Analyze water testing. Okay. We gotta do that in her lab. 
Hey, look, there's another two-headed cow. Yeah, and I, I gotta figure out a way... I'm probably gonna do that off-camera. I gotta figure out a way. I have, um... A thing to get rid of the rads right now. But I only have a couple. And I don't want to use them up and then not have a way to get rid of them. So, I gotta figure out a way to make something or buy something to... To get rid of the of the rads that we have right now. Oh, that's back that way. Let's not go that way. Let's just head back to base for now. Oh, being in the water ups my rads. Jesus. Just won't stop. Won't stop. Everything here wants to contaminate me. And like, sometimes you can get wood from the... Yeah, see, you can get wood from the, the stumps, which is kind of cool. Alright, so we're just going to head back to base. We're going to figure out how to get rid of the, the rads that we got. And uh, check our armor situation because I picked up another piece of armor. I might be able to make some more armor. Yeah, see the camera's not too terrible right now. But it's like, yeah, see I'm jittering on a little something there. I keep catching on like the side of the map or something. Yeah, I can see what people are saying when they're like, the game is dated because you don't run into those problems that often unless somebody's using like not the best game design software. Can, can you just get up the hill? Get on up the hill. Okay, fine. We'll go around this way. I wish you could pull back a little further from your character as well. It's like third person, but you're so close to your character. And fighting in this mode is extremely difficult, especially melee. What the heck? What are you doing? Are you bad? Oh, you are bad! Jesus, everything wants to kill you. I'd like to like have one friendly unit just one time. All right, well, the good news is we're in our house. So we can rest and heal up a little bit. But I th think we're at our wrap-up time here. So I'm going to do the stuff I said, figure out how to get rid of these rads. If you know how to do that, like, let me know in the comments if there's, like, an easy way, something I can already craft that I don't know about or something like that. Let me know in the comments. Um, let me know what you think about this new series. And, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.